Hi, I'm Mary Director and I'm a Fun Stampers Journey Coach. Let me give you a little information about myself. I have a blog. It's called createscardsjourney.blogspot.com. My business website is funstampersjourney.com slash Mary Director. And I'm also on Facebook, facebook.com slash createscardsjourney. I'll bring this back at the end of the video. Today I'm going to be working with two different stamp sets. The first one is Greeting Bouquet, SS-0139, and it's a set of four stamps. I'm also going to be working with a stamp set I have to admit I've had over a year and just now I'm starting to use. It's called Build a Skyscraper, and it's 12 stamps in it. It's SS-0340, and it has the solids for the buildings and then also um, designs so you can build the building up, you can add little windows to it, whatever you want. It's really a fun set and I'm going to show you today how I'm using it to create texture on the flower image from Greeting Bouquet. So I'll set these aside. Here are some samples that I did earlier now the samples I did, I used Pretty Pansy, True Color Fusion Ink, and the ones I'm going to do for you um, today, I'm going to use my Candy Apple True Color Fusion Ink. Remember that our True Color Fusion Inks this month, the month of August 2017, are on sale for 20% off, and those can be purchased through my website. The first card that I did is what would be called a faux shaving cream technique. And I, st um, I inked the image and then I used the solid stamp and wiped this off. And it saves you um, the mess of um, shaving cream and gives the same type of look. Bring it up a little bit closer so you can see. The next one I did, similar, but I used, I'm going to call them the little windows from the stamp set and it created a design within this. Okay. And then the last one, same thing, but I used the um, rectangles. They look like, I would guess, would be, could be stairs, could be um, floors of a building, could be texture on a walkway. And so you can see where the texture is showing through here. So anyway, it was just a fun way to change the look of the stamp so that um, I gave it something a little different. Um, I could fussy cut these out. I could use this as the card base and then add my sentiments. Um, there's just all different things you could do. Today the video is just on the technique. I'm not actually going to show you any completed cards. Okay, I'm going to work with the Candy Apple True Color Fusion. I have my um, stamp already set up on my F block. Um, grid lines are always on the top, and then the um, stamped image, the stamp itself, goes on the other side. I have whipped cream cardstock, and what I've done is I've cut these in A2, so they're four and a quarter by five and a half. It's just a size I like to work with, and then I can cut it down or, um, you know, add to it whatever I'd like to do. I can also use it as the back complete background of a card. I like on this type to ink the stamp with it facing upward because then I can see coverage on it. So as I'm putting it on, I can see the ink. And I want to make sure that I have really good solid coverage. So I'm applying pressure and I'm moving this a little bit with my hand. Okay. And because it's Arizona, I always put the lid right back on. Now I'm going to take the other um, rectangle one and I'm just going to go over the stamp. And when I'm doing this, I'm also going to stamp off the ink a little. I'm putting pressure and I'm just getting this f top part of the stamp to grab the ink. It's really um, kind of neat how it 
changes the look of the flowers here. Okay, now this is all inked. I'm gonna turn it over. I'm gonna apply firm pressure. And some people um, wanna stand up. If you've inked it well, you don't need to stand up when you put the pressure on. Now see how cool that looks? And where I had taken this stamp, it's pulled the ink off to the side and given it a completely different look. So here it is in the um, Pretty Pansy and also in the Candy Apple. Then what I'm going to do, because um, I'm working with different designs, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean off my stamps with the baby wipe to do it just quick and easy. Because if there's any imaging left from this other block, I don't want it to show up on my next design. Okay. And then I'm just going, I, again, this was an alcohol-free baby wipe. And then I'm just going to use a paper towel to um, get the ex excess moisture off. The next one I'm going to work with is the little window one, and this fits nicely on block B. We have a wide range of clear acrylic blocks, including a great um, holder for it. So it's in, um, it's in the catalog as well as um, on the website. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to re-ink this, making sure I've got good coverage all the um, all the images are inked in well. This one, I'm going to use the full image, whereas the rectangle one that I used the first time, I only use the very edge, and then I'm just stamping off the excess ink. And I'm going to try to do the whole design here. I don't know if you can. I don't know that you can see. Oh, there. You can see some of it. I don't want this to dry either, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on right away. Again, putting it here to the side, applying pressure. And I want to make sure that I've got the full stamp and lift straight up. Look at that. So again, we have the two different colors. And this was our little window pane. This is the Pretty Pansy. This is the um, Candy Apple Red. I just think it looks great. I'm really pleased with the difference. Just a fun way to change out the looks of your stamped images. Um, this type of technique is gonna work better with a more solid color, a more solid image um, so that you have more surface to use the other um, stamped image on. This um, technique, um, these two that I'm, the middle one and the last one I'm doing, also can be referred to as the kissing technique uh, where you take one stamp and kiss it to the other and so it's like it's doing this. This one, the first one was the, is a faux shaving technique, and I just learned that one from Richard Garay um, from one of the um, classes he did. So that was kind of neat, so I had to try it right away. Again, I'm just getting off the excess moisture. And then the last one I'm gonna do, I'm going to use the rectangles, and you can do it this way. You can, this one I did it more to a side but it just adds to the to the look. Okay. Oh, I guess I want to do red, otherwise I'm going to end up with another purple one. Okay. I can see these cut out and, you know, a red one and a purple one both either layered or put side by side, make a little bouquet with them. Just lots of choices. Okay. Again, I've got this on the stamp. I want to make sure it's 
adhered well. I'm going to angle this one. You could put it any angle you wanted. And you can, as, I don't know if you can see it, but I can actually see the design as I'm doing this. I can see it showing up. Same thing. I'm going to apply pressure. Lift straight up. And there we go. There's the two side by side. And then again, I would uh, clean this off. And then let me sh let me show you just one, real quick, with just a solid, so that. Um, you can see what it looks like without the texturing being added. Now, I typically clean my stamps with our Clear Fusion um, True Color True Color Fusion Cleaner and a uh, chamois. So I'm just using the baby wipe because I'm doing the video and I'm trying to um, work as quickly as possible. So. Again, when I get completely done here, I will go in with my cleaner and I will clean my stamps because not only does it clean, but it conditions. Okay. So this will just show you the difference. This is the solid, that's with texture. This is with the faux shaving cream technique. This is with the kissing um, technique with the texture. And this one is with the rectangles. So just fun, easy, something completely different to do. Um, give it a try. Let me know if you know what you think of it. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Again, um, I am on Facebook, Creates Cards Journey. I have a business website where you can place your orders. It's funstampersjourney.com slash Mary Director. And I'm also um, on a blog for Blogspot. It's createscardsjourney.blogspot.com. Thank you so much for watching my video today.